All right, now we're going to use the laser to measure the wall. I'm going to be carving on this, so I don't want to make this too thin, uh, but I need to get it uniform, so we're going to use the laser to help do that. The going to work in this area here first, so the tangent, the area that I'm going to work on is the long line of the card. The arrow is the perpendicular where the gap is going to get set. So I'm going to bring it over to my laser, to my uh, carbide cutter and set the laser so that the gap is going to be my wall thickness and the gap is going to be my measuring device. So we'll set it about there. That's going to be maybe about a old 3 16 thick. Okay. And we'll go hollow. So while I'm in there now, the laser is a dot on top. And when I get over the sidewall and start working here, the laser gets elongated. That says slow down, I'm getting close. As it gets elongated, I'm going to stop when the laser falls off. Stop. Stop. So the process now is to make the laser disappear. That's measuring the wall. Stop, stop, stop. Then I'm going to go back in just with my fingertips. Now with just my fingertips, I'm just going to go back and forth on that area that's been measured and clean up the tool marks. I want that really nice and clean. I don't want to have to sand in there, stick my fingers in there and sand. So I get it really nice and clean before I move on to the next stage. Okay, then we're going to go on into the next stage. Measure some more. Stop. Stop. Okay, now we're getting down in there another half inch or so that's measured. We'll clean up the tool marks again. Make sure I transition it into that first stage, but I'm never going all the way back out to the tip. Uh, I mean, out to the rim of the vessel again. That, that's already thin and done, so we don't have to go back out there again. 